Uh, so it is actually a cool day here in Dallas Fort Worth area and this is my 2002 Ford Ranger and it's actually my oldest daughter's who's in college truck um, which lives several hours from here so it was getting a check engine light so I went down there and got it and uh, lo and behold just look at the gunk look at the gunk in there so one of the problems of living in Texas is the um, stuff the, the the plastics will start to break down so at this point this is probably the worst I've ever seen in a car and if you look in the um, radio overflow it is brown junk and I flushed this thing out over a year ago and it's brown so I'll at this point, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to replace the radiator. I'm going to replace all, all the hoses as well uh, in the cooling line. And I'll go ahead and film it as I'm going. And you have to buy a lot of parts if you're going to do this right. And, and I'll probably also um, clean, I'm going to clean the intake out, maybe clean the top of the engine while I'm at it. But uh, I'm going to start by flushing the radiator out and I won't film the flush but what you want to do when it's when something's this bad you're gonna to want to run a, a, a flush through it before you start and you basically empty out the radiator first of all the coolant put water in it put this in let it run for about an, about 10 minutes maybe an hour if you're really desperate which I may do as bad as this is gunked up. Redrain it, then replace everything. So, so to do this right, you need two radiator, uh, or I'm sorry, two heater core cables. And these cables are actually quite expensive. They're almost 40 bucks each. Part number 87978, you need two of those. You need a lower radiator cable. Part number 720, Two one. You need an upper radiator hose, which is part number seven two one nine zero, and I got everything at AutoZone. You also will need um, a new radiator cap. Obviously, a lot of the radiators when you buy them new don't come with new ones. So, new radiator cap. The other things that I recommend buying are the smaller Corbin cables. Um, some of the smaller cables, they'll you'll actually break these or you'll bend the Corbin locks when you pull them off. So I bought a few packages of them. It's cheap insurance, so I don't have to run to the hardware store. And then this is the Duralast. It runs about $150, direct replacement. It is has a full lifetime warranty. It is single core, but at this point, it was about $300 in parts. Uh, the quote to have somebody else do it was about 500 bucks. 500, a little shy of 600 bucks. So it's worth my time to do it. Some other items I uh, forgot to mention that you need to, to do this right. These are the uh, spark plug retainer uh, replacement clips. Sometimes when you're working on the, uh, you're moving the hoses around, you'll end up move, breaking some of the clips. So I bought an extra set of clips. The other thing you will need is the uh, thermostat for the radiator i'm sure this is gunked up as well this is a replacement part it's about 10 bucks you might as well replace that while you have everything open the other thing too that radiator here's the part number c2310 and of course made in china of course